we will go for third generating function that is characteristic function. This is also generating function. The definition for characteristic function is as follows. Let x be a random variable the characteristic function of the random variable x as a function of t that is psi is a notation is defined as expectation of uh, e power i times t x where i is a square root of minus 1, it is a complex number. You compare the definition of a probability generating function, woman generating function and characteristic function. Probability generating function can be defined only for the random variable which is non-negative integer valued random variable. The moment generating function is valid for the random variable in which expectation of e power t x is a finite for all t in some interval including 0. Whereas, the characteristic function there is no restriction for the random variable that means, uh, for any random variable or for all random variable one can define the characteristic function that is expectation of e power i times t x. Even though we use the expectation of a function of random variable, we are not making the provided condition expectation exist. That means, uh, the right hand side quantity is always exist. That can be proved, because once you say the expectation of a function of random variable exist provided uh, in absolute sense it should be finite. We can verify expectation of absolute of uh, e power i times t x. So, here the provided condition uh, is uh, not necessary, because the expectation of absolute of e power i times t x, this quantity is same as minus infinity to infinity absolute of e power i times uh, t x times uh, f of x t x and we know that uh, i e is a square root of minus 1 and absolute of e power i times uh, t x is always less than or equal to 1. Therefore, this is less than or equal to minus infinity to infinity f of x d x. Here, uh, when I go for integration from minus infinity to infinity, I assume that it is a continuous type random variable. Therefore, I am going for integration with the probability density function as a multiplication. Suppose, if it is a discrete type random variable, then it is a summation absolute probability mass function. So, here I have considered x is a continuous type random variable and this quantity is going to be 1. So, always expectation of uh, absolute of e power i times uh, t x is going to be less than or equal to 1, that is a finite quantity. Therefore, uh, there is no need of provided condition for characteristic function. One more observation, the earlier two functions are the real valued function, whereas uh, this is a complex valued function, that is uh, psi characteristic function, it is a complex valued uh, function. Now, we will go for uh, few remarks over uh, characteristic function. The first remark, if you substitute uh, t equal to 0 in the characteristic function, that is same as expectation of uh, 1 that is going to be 1. 
the second remark, if you find out uh, since it is a complex valued function, you can go for absolute of uh, characteristic function that is uh, for all t, if you take a absolute of this that is same as absolute of uh, expectation of i times t x that is less than or equal to expectation of uh, absolute of e power i times t x. Just now we got that result is uh, 1 therefore, uh, that is going to be this is for uh, all t the absolute of uh, characteristic function is always less than or equal to 1 between for all t. The third remark, if uh, expectation of uh, x power n exist, because the characteristic function that does not uh, say the moment gen generating function exists or not. If the nth order moment exists, then one can find the nth order moment about the origin by successive derivative of uh, characteristic function with respect to t n times, then substitute uh, t equal to 0, then multiplied by i power if the moment of nth order about the origin exists from the characteristic function by successive derivative n times substituting t equal to 0 multiplied by 1 divided by i power n, one can get the nth order moment about the mean. The next remark, if uh, two random variables If two random variables having characteristic functions same for all t, then you can conclude both are identically distributed. This is a notation. Both are random variables x is equal to y having the same distribution. Therefore, I write a d above the equal symbol. If two random variables having the same characteristic function for all t, then we can conclude both are having the same distribution. So, all these three generating functions, this result valid. If two random variables having the same thing, then both are going to have the same distribution. As an example, as a example, already we discussed two examples, this is a third example. Let x be a random variable with a probability density function f of x 1 divided by sigma square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma the whole square where x lies between minus infinity to infinity, mu is lies between minus infinity to infinity that is a parameter and sigma is greater than 0. So, this is a probability density function of continuous type random variable. Later we are going to say this is a normal distribution with the mean mu and the variance sigma square. You can find uh, the MGF of the random variable. You cannot find the probability generating function because it is a continuous type random variable. So, this is nothing but the expectation of e power t times x that is same as minus infinity to infinity e power t x you substitute the above probability density function. So, in this example, we are finding both 
moment generating function as well as the characteristic function. If you do the simplification, it is going to be e power mu t plus 1 by 2 sigma square t square. I am skipping all the calculation, substitute the f of x, then do the integration. After simplification, you can get the answer. It is e power mu t plus 1 by 2 sigma square t square. This is a moment generating function of the random variable x whose probability density function is given this. You can find the characteristic function that is a expectation of e power i times t x. You see that uh, the difference between uh, moment generating function and the characteristic function is uh, replacing t by i times t, where i is square root of minus 1. Therefore, the characteristic function for the normal distribution is e power i times mu t minus 1 by 2 sigma square t square by replacing t by i times t. So, this result of a characteristic function of a normal distribution is going to be used later. Therefore, I am introducing finding the MGF as well as characteristic function for a normal distribution with the parameters mu and sigma square, where mu is the mean and the sigma square is the variance. Let us go for one more example. Let x be a random variable with the MGF is given by one by three plus one by two e power minus t plus one by six e power t. Find the distribution of uh, x. It is a reverse problem or inverse problem by giving the MGF we have to find the distribution. Till now, we know the distribution, we can find the MGF provided it exists. So, here the MGF exists and the MGF is given by 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 e power minus t plus 1 by 6 e power t. Find the distribution of x. It could be discrete type, it could be continuous type or it could be mixed type. There is a one important result, if the MGF exists, it is unique and the characteristic function is always exist and it is unique. If the probability generating function exists, then it is unique for the random variable. With that concept, if the MGF exists, it is a unique and it is going to give a unique distribution of the random variable x. We know that uh, the MGF is nothing but uh, for any random variable that is expectation of e power t times x. If it is a discrete type, then it is a summation of e power t x probability of x equal to small x or uh, it is integration from minus infinity to infinity e power t x times probability density function. By seeing the definition and uh, by looking at the MGF, you can uh, conclude uh, 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 6. Uh, if you add, uh, that is going to be 1. All are with the positive symbol. And multiplied by one term uh, nothing and another term e power minus t and the other term is e power t. And you see that uh, it is a uh, expectation of uh, e power t x. From that, uh, we can conclude uh, 
the random variable x takes a value 0, minus 1 and 1, if the probability of x takes a value that is going to be 0 is 1 by 3, 1 is 1 by 2, minus 1 is 1 by 2 and 1 is 1 by 6. You can verify if this is a probability distribution, then the MGF is going to be 1 by 3 times e power 0 times t plus 1 by 2 times e power t times minus 1 plus 1 by 6 times e power t times 1 that is same as 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 e power minus t plus 1 by 6 e power t. Therefore, the distribution of x is this table with the probability mass at the point 0 is 1 by 3 minus 1 is 1 by 2 and 1 is 1 by 6. So, this is a discrete type random variable that gives the MGF 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 e power minus t plus 1 by 6 e power t. With these four examples, we have uh, completed uh, generating functions namely probability generating function, moment generating function and characteristic function. So, with this uh, we are completing uh, the module on uh, moments and inequality starting with the uh, mean and variance, then higher order moments and uh, moment inequalities and finally, generating functions. Thank you.